Hello people, after two years, three years, four years, who knows, I am back. And while my game is loading, we will be playing Hearts of Iron 4. While my game is loading, uh, I was looking on my channel, uh, that's obviously been dead for quite some time now, but I was looking there and I noticed in my creator studio that one of my videos had been flagged for copyright and I looked at that and I was I just kinda broke into like a cold sweat I almost had like a heart attack and obviously you know it was um, legitimate but you know the people that filed it were nice enough to not do anything so thanks to them for not you know doing anything I was you know a silly fifth grader in my bedroom making videos with horrible audio quality I imagine I still do. So, as we're starting up, I will be playing... Trying to decide. I just tried to make a um, Iron Man Germany game, but I realized when I was going back through to look at the video preview that I had forgot to disable my German uh, historical flag mod which is a swastika flag and uh, Sabaton music DLCs and Sabaton music mods or the one that was taken down from the Paradox work from the Steam Workshop so I disabled all of that stuff So getting in here, we I will be playing I have all the DLCs. I have you know excited for that new unannounced expansion for 1.6 Ironclad. I think I will be playing Hmm. I'm gonna roll with We're gonna play the French. I'm gonna play the French. No custom difficulty. I'm only turning off iron mode because I want the game to, uh, I want to be able to save the game whenever. On what you can see, my cursor is not flickering, but on my screen it is flickering and it is very annoying. Or maybe it is on your screen. Who knows? Now it's fixed. So getting in here, I'm going to choose to focus government reform for that sweet, sweet political power. I'm going to start building minor forts here along our Belgian border. We are making outdated equipment. Normally I would not um, want to waste naval production, however, who cares? It's France. Uh, we need to get oil from the United States. We're going to start imp importing. We're going to research that, that, that. I am using player-led peace conferences and the state transfer tool uh, to fix any border gore that might show up in a peace deal um, between the AI powers. I'm going to unpause the game here. And we need one more. What are the Germans doing? Rhineland. Okay. Okay, obviously we will not be making an offensive yet. Uh, I'm going to try to stick close to the historical French plan of winning World War II where they were going to starve the Germans for resources uh, stay behind their fortifications modernize their army and then go on the offensive once Germany was weakened and France was strengthened what? okay um, anyways just in case can't do that 
these units. Gonna move south. But I will get tanks and planes and all the good stuff that I need and watch Germany be starved for food for food, fuel, and parts. We do start with almost uh, negative 20,000 guns, uh, minus about 70 artillery, and minus 100 tanks. So we will have to make those up with the six military factories that we start with. And here I'm going to expend my stability to ensure that the Rhineland stays demilitarized. And Britain has supported us. We're going to maintain the status quo because I'm democratic. Ha! Ha ha! Should have known we would not be, you know, yeah. Match not line. Okay. We only have to build these forts up to level 8 because I can do a focus that will give me uh, more forts, level 2 forts. And we can finally take these off of here because I thought there might be a civil war, so. Just gonna make a front line. Oh, of course not. Not that way. It's gonna be that way. Yes, people have the right to feel safe. We're just going to assemble some ragtag troops here to fight the Italian front. Hopefully the Republicans win the Civil War because that would be one less front I have to fight on. I got to bypass that focus because Britain supported me. Research that. Research that. So I got my account verified, I think. So I do not have to restrict myself to 30 minutes. Or 15 minutes. A moment of silence for all the pastas that have just been lost. see how bad those casualties are. 30,000. And it's over. Let's see what other countries are doing. See if they've done any a historical path. Wait. No, I think I left it on historical AI. Uh -huh. Let them strike. I'd rather take the harsher short-term penalty than the easier long-term one. China has... Communist China has not picked a... Hang on, although I'm kind of stupid if they picked... If I put it on historical, I think I did. So, I know which one they'll be taking. Strengthened our government. So while that is going, we need to get this. We need to get the factories. Ooh, that's like no political power. What happened to the 120 I gained? Probably lost. Oh yeah, I lost it to those events. Games, games of the 11th Olympiad. Yeah, 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 Jesse Owens. We've researched radio, and I'm still going to try to keep the time limit low because it's I don't want to have this be hell on my uh, time because I don't want to take four hours to upload a video. I want to take, like, 20 minutes. Come on. 
agrarian socialism. Looking at our songs, I'm 95% sure I disabled. Yes, I disabled all of the ones that would land me in trouble, I think. Oh, huh. should have noticed I accidentally built a fort in Calais. Yeah, I'm stupid. Stupid, stupid. Okay, I can trust Britain to deal with the German Navy, so I'll come down here to deal with the Italian one. Whoa, Spanish Civil War. Just gonna form a, start a army to deal with Libya because I know the British AI is really bad at dealing with that. Well, ah, uh, wow, um, oh gosh. I don't know who could possibly win the Civil War. Looking at that on my border. We're going to research start with decent tanks. I'm going to start researching anti-tank. If I want to defeat the Germans, I will have to defeat their tanks. Once they're low on equipment, the Grand French Cult of the Offensive can begin. The main part that I'm modifying here is that the reason why the French didn't build serious fortifications in the on the Belgian border and only minor ones is because the terrain here was flat and not suitable for these fortifications so they planned to uh, rush forward into Belgium to natural defenses here just east of Brussels and Namur and Antwerpen uh, they were also going to send the French 7th Army, the best unit in the entire French Army, up here to a town called Breda to link up with Dutch resistance there and form a line. But I am not doing that, because I'm not going to leave the comfy fortifications that I have built. If Belgium wants their army to show up here, they can, they can come. Checking these casualties. National Spain is not doing too hot. They've lost basically the entire state of Aragon. Which is 24 steel. Which is almost all of the nationalists' resources for guns. They have to solely rely on uh, lend -lease. And they aren't even getting any. They're just getting volunteers. So, if the war drags on, the nationalists will slowly lose guns, and they won't be able to fight the republicans. While the republicans, while not getting lend -lease, they can make their own guns, because of the steel they captured. I'm going to take the research slot. We need guns, we need tanks, artillery, and I'm going to save that last one for anti-tank. We have some decisions available to us. Um, hopefully I can get around to this, but that means I would have to find a way to conquer the Benelux. Uh, we could do these, but I do not have the stability to spend. And when do I finish?
19 days. Well, I believe that'll be it for now. Come on, come on, game. I need to save it. Bitter. Of course. Well then, I will see you later.